Hello and welcome back to Underdog Investing. So today I'd like to talk about why Pacific Biosciences could potentially be a 10x company within the next 5 to 10 years and I'd like to use the ARK Invest research around long read sequencing to back this up. And then finally I'd like to talk about the stock price and what I'm going to do. Now before I jump into the video, I'd be grateful if you can smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for future updates. So jumping right into it, The Big Ideas 2021 by ARK Invest, they released this on 26th of January 2021 uh, to talk about the 15 big ideas that investors shouldn't miss out on in this decade. And one of them is long read sequencing, and that's on page 92 of this article, which I'll probably put a link down below for. So long read sequencing, why is this important and why is it important for Pacific Biosciences? So you can see here, sequencing is basically reading genomes. And the reason why it's very important is because there's lots of applications from curing diseases to detecting cancer um, that genomics can actually provide. So if you have a look here, in terms of sequencing or reading the genome, ARK Invest have laid out the three generations so far. So the first generation was Sanger sequencing, followed by the second generation, which was short read sequencing by companies like Illumina. And then you've got a third generation of sequencing, which is long read sequencing. And in particular, they add Pacific Biosciences as one of these companies which do long read sequencing. And to just roughly go through what the difference is between short and long read sequencing is. So both of them are actually trying to read the whole genome. And with short read sequencing on the left hand side, you can see what happens is you read very small segments of the genome and then you try to paint a picture that way. And what happens is you actually have loads of missing gaps where you haven't actually read any of that uh, part of the genome. And the reason is because you're actually taking such small segments. And so that's why long read sequencing is so much better is because you're actually taking a much longer sequence that you're actually reading. And what happens is you actually get a complete picture of the genome. So it's much more effective. And then the next slide goes on to explain why currently it's not very applicable. And the reason is because of cost. So if you have a look at this particular graph, this is a log scale graph and it just demonstrates how much more expensive log, uh, the long read sequencing is compared to short read sequencing. But you can see how the gap of the price or the cost is actually decreasing. So in 2010, long read sequencing was 18 times more expensive than short read sequencing. But that reduced from 18 times to 5 times in 2015, 3.5 times now in 2020. And ARC believed that by 2025, long read sequencing and short read sequencing will cost the same amount, which is just incredible. And if we have a look here, ARC investors are basically using the rights law to explain how the uh, cost of long read sequencing is declining over the years. So according to Wright's law, for every cumulative doubling in data produced, you get a 28% decline in the cost of actual sequencing. So let's have a look here. So in 2010, you can see in the top left hand corner, uh, the price to uh, sequence a genome costs over 100,000. And you can see that just 10 years later, that cost went from over $100,000 to $3,500 to sequence a genome using long read sequencing. And by 2023, ARC believed that that cost would go down to less than $1,000, which is amazing. But if you have a look here, what's even more amazing is, according to ARC's estimates, the cost to sequence a whole genome with long read technology would drop to $100 to $200 in its accuracy superior to uh, short read sequencing across all variant types by the end of 2025. So it's incredible the rate at which it's declining in cost. And then here we just go through some of the applications for long read sequencing. Um, so pediatric cancers. So the good thing about pediatric cancer detection is, so if you are able to detect a cancer earlier, then what you can do is you can start treatment earlier. And if you can start treatment earlier, it means you've got a much better outlook for the patient. And especially when we're looking at younger patients, so pediatric patients, if we're able to imagine in 2025, 
it would only cost 100 to 200 dollars to actually diagnose these conditions earlier and we could treat them earlier we're actually adding significant value um, not only to the patient but also economically by allowing them to be more productive throughout their lifetime so there's also many other applications, such as rare diseases, which affect hundreds of millions of people globally, which are genetic in origin, as well as hereditary diseases, and also the ability to study structural variations. So the good thing about investing in, in an industry like genomics is that you're actually not only benefiting um, the economy, but you're also uh, providing uh, impact in terms of humanity. So you're doing a lot of good um, in the world. Um, by investing in genomics. And then finally, we move to my favorite slide, uh, which just demonstrates the size of the potential size of the long read sequencing market. So, ARC expects the long read sequencing market to grow at an annual rate of 82% through 2025, which is just incredible growth. So, you can see that the total addressable market currently is $250 million. And ARK Invest believe that by 2025, the total addressable market for long read sequencing could potentially be $5 billion, which is 20 times what it is now. So the final thing to just uh, go through is the fact that Pacific Biosciences, you can see in their ARK Genomics Fund, is one of the highest holdings. So it's the third highest holding. And they hold 17.6 million shares. At a value of $600 million, which is 5.5% of this fund. And if we look at their ARC Innovation Fund, which is their main fund, so their ARC K fund, you can see that Pacific Biosciences is also in this fund as well. And it's their 37th largest holding with 7.2 million shares at around $246 million in value and 1% of this fund. So ARC Invest are very bullish on Pacific Biosciences. So finally going to the stock price and what I'm going to do. So you can see today we're near the end of the um, trading day and we're at around $35. Um, if we take a longer look, you can see that over the past six months we've had a significant run up of about 800%. But we've also had quite a significant pullback recently. So we reached an all time high of around $40 and we actually dropped by about 22%. And although we've recovered somewhat, we're still down about 12%. So personally, I see this as quite a good buying entry. And I might consider buying some Pacific Biosciences uh, in the near future uh, if we manage to stay around these levels. Um, so that's the end of the video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, I'll be grateful if you can smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think about Pacific Biosciences and are you planning to buy any or do you hold any already? And if you found it useful in any way, I'll be grateful if you can share this video. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.